Who is the biggest asshole in history? One of history's most evil men, Grigory Zas. 200 years ago, there was a country called Circassia. During the nascence of the Middle Ages, the Circassians were subject to Byzantine proselytism, largely reshaping them into a Christian country. In the 1400s, its various princedoms were united into a single state by Einel the Great. As a unified country, Circassia wanted to retain good relations with neighboring Russia. An alliance with Ivan the Terrible was reached and, for a time, they were allies. Then Islam changed the landscape dramatically. The Ottoman Empire made Circassia a tributary state, offering protection from the Tartars in return for payment. During this time, many Circassians converted to Islam. When the Sultan failed to hold up his end of the bargain though, they refused to pay any further tribute. In response, the Ottomans sent 20,000 men to make what should have been an easy conquest, but were resoundingly defeated thanks to superior military strategy. Circassian guerrillas. Just a few short years after their victory, the Russians, who had a fervent anti-Islam policy, set their sights on Circassia too. An invasion followed, and for the next few decades, Russia repeatedly raided them. In the 1760s, the situation escalated to all-out war. That conflict would go on to become the longest in Russia's history, lasting over a hundred years. Within its closing decades, Grigory Zas became commander. He was the devil. His period of leadership ushered in something even worse than war, genocide. Comparing the Circassians to wild animals, he weaponized terror and inflicted mass brutality. His idea of celebration was to set fire to villages, with the people inside, and then boast about it. His love of burning civilians alive didn't stop there. For entertainment, he would set fire to men in the streets. Zas monstrousness went further still. He bayoneted pregnant women, initiated mass rapes of women and children, and spread epidemics on purpose. He was also infamous for collecting Circassian body parts, both for his ornamental use and to send for anatomical studies. Witnesses observed heads on pikes outside his tent. His campaign of terror destroyed up to 97% of the Circassian population, 